Hi y'all, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. My sister Cheryl and Easton, we welcome you to our channel. Thank you for being here. But today we thought that we would do a little spring vintage shopping. So we're gonna go and see if we can hit some thrift stores, maybe some department stores, antique stores. Let's just go see what we can find. I don't know about you, but we are so ready for spring decor. And you know, our weather here in Oklahoma has been really nice. It's actually been in like the 60s, which has been so wonderful. But they're telling us this weekend we could possibly have snow and ice, which seems absolutely crazy. But I know with our weather, we just never know what we're gonna get. But let's go thrifting and let's just see what we can find. Hopefully, we'll find some really great stuff. And then we found these cute little bunny rabbits that, that were at my house. Home goods. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So Easton, Cheryl, and I all made a stop in Home Goods. Now we don't really have one that's really close to us, so we happened to be out shopping and came upon this store and we had to go in and check it out. They had so many really fun things. There really was a lot to be seen. I know if you guys are enjoying this Home Goods video you should run over and watch dawn at the till pumpkin she actually did a video from there and showed so many really cute things so go over and check out her channel so you can see more but we just are showing you a few things that we found and no i didn't end up buying anything but now i'm definitely regretting that I thought these cutting boards were so cute and I should have grabbed some along with a few other things, but you guys will have to look around and see what catches your eye. This definitely has me in the mood for spring. So Home Good was really the only place that we stopped in and shopped as in, you would say, a store. But we did go to the thrift store just to see what they had because I was really wanting some vintage looking spring decor or things that I could use in my spring decorating. I thought this bow was adorable. You'll have to see, stay to the end to see if I grabbed it. It's awfully cute and there are a few other things but there just wasn't a lot of spring Easter things that I really saw but I can't wait to share with you what we did find there was some really cute things I don't know if you're like me, but I always shop for decor for all seasons. And so if you see something that you like that's for fall or for spring, grab it because it's perfect to use in your decor later on. And that's exactly what these were. I thought these were adorable. So again, you'll have to wait and see to the end to see what I bought. Friends, don't overlook the linens at the thrift stores because you never know what you're gonna find. This was a beautiful tablecloth. It had some embroidery at the bottom of spring flowers and I thought that that was just so pretty. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so the last place we stopped was this antique store. And friends, if you're ever in the Midwest City, Oklahoma area, be sure to check out Metro Retro. Their little antique store was so adorable. And yes, friends, my sister and I showed up wearing the exact same thing. Has that ever happened to y'all? That's what you get when you both buy the same thing. So here we are, we're in the same thing, but you know, sometimes you just have to go with it. I love this jadeite picture, but not for $85. I found this uh, little cute, I can't remember what it's called, but you're supposed to put these little discs in there and then you put this down and it shows the pictures. Yeah, it's cool. And it's like, it's like videos probably like from the 50s, maybe. That sounds fun. Friends, this store had so many really cute things. It was so fun to look around and find treasures at every corner. But I hope you guys will go check out that store if you're local. They really did have a lot of really great things. You guys will have to tell me what's catching your eye and what you would buy if you were here. Okay friends, so here is my haul. Now, my goal today was to find things that were spring inspired. And so this is not, but I absolutely love it. And I stopped at the half price thrift store. So these were half price. And I call it the half price thrift store, but the truth is it's a half price on certain days. And I just happened to be in the city that day. And so we stopped by. So you can see this was 50 cents. Isn't that a great buy? And the little, of course, sugar bowl has lost its lid, but that's okay. It's still pretty and it will look beautiful with maybe some spring florals or some greenery. So I will definitely be using this in my decor for spring. Now, I love diner mugs. They're so heavy. This one was absolutely perfect. And again, it was half price, so it was 50 cents. So I couldn't leave it behind. I had to bring it home with me. So the next thing I found, and this was actually at a different thrift store, but this is a piece of ironstone. It is so beautiful. It has all the crazing and of course the staining and it's just absolutely beautiful and it was only 99 cents. I thought that was such a great score. And then I, as I was looking around in this thrift store, this was actually at the Goodwill, I stumbled upon this amazing basket and I mean look how big it is it's such a pretty color I love it now the handles look like that they were added and I don't really care for those so I will remove those um, there's not really a hole in the basket it just looks like that's where they put the rope through so I'm going to take that off but I absolutely love this basket I can't wait to style it and use it so this was such a fun find and then look at this I mean look at this I found this at the antique store it was five dollars and this gravy boat is gorgeous and yes it's brown and I was thinking to myself oh I have to have this for fall but the more I have been looking at it um, while I'm sitting here working on this video I thought you know what 
I'm sure I can find a way to work this into my spring decor. It is just so beautiful. So I'm so excited to use this and you'll have to come back and see how I style it for spring. But I absolutely love this. Now, when you go looking for spring, you know, it never fails. You find everything but, and that's kind of what I did. This was at the half price store, so it was a dollar. And I mean, look at this. This green rate looked so real, and I was so excited to find it. What a great score. And then, are you ready, friends? Get ready. I found Christmas Santa mugs. Look at these sweet little mugs. They are so perfect. And these were at the Antique Mall again, and they were $8 each, but I thought that was really a great buy. If you love Santa mugs like I do, and you've been collecting them for years, you know that that is a great buy. So I grabbed, there was two of them, and I grabbed them both. There was also one other Christmas item that I wanted and I left behind, so I'll probably have to make another trip to grab it. And when I do, I'll be sure to share with you guys. So no, I didn't find a lot of spring items on this thrifting trip, but I do want to show you what I found this summer. And I am so excited to use this in my upcoming spring and Easter decor. So my sister and I found this when we were shopping at the Half Price Thrift Store. I believe it was in June of this year, June or July. But look at this. Is this not so precious? I thought it was just adorable. And again, this was half price. And let me see the price on the bottom. I think it is like, yeah, $3.89. So this was like $2. Isn't that just adorable? I absolutely love it and then the other thing I found was this huge rabbit and if you've been with me a little while I'm sh I've shared this before on my channel but I was just so excited that I'm gonna get to be styling this in the future look at this sweet rabbit he looks so vintage and adorable and I think he was like $25 and so I did get him half price, so it made him about $12.50, but I just, I just love it. I just think he is just amazing, and I can't wait to style him for this upcoming spring and Easter season. I don't know, guys, what do you think about him? Okay, then I have this gorgeous doorstop, and this was given to me by one of my subscribers, sweet and precious Sarah. I love this so much, and I have this in my bedroom, but I am going to pull this out for spring and use it. I just think it is absolutely stunning. So sweet Sarah, thank you again for this sweet, sweet gift, and I can't wait to style this for my spring decor. But guys, I'm just starting to look for spring and vintage, so I hope you'll come back, and I hope that you will watch and see what all I find. But this was kind of my haul that I was able to get on this trip, so I can't wait to see what I find next time. Friends, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate y'all so, so much. And before I go, I just want to leave you with this beautiful Bible verse. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You know, friends, I hope that you will really take heart to this verse and know that no matter what you're faced, no matter what's going on, you don't have to fear or worry. You just put your trust in the Lord. God knows your heart, and God is taking care of everything for you. So call out to Him because He listens to your, your cries and answers. Friends, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate y'all so, so much. We love y'all. We pray for y'all. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye, friends.